What's up you guys, it's Lexi and this is a try on haul. I've got some clothes that are really fun because they're from Dolls Kill. I have some beauty products that I've really been liking and I got a PR package that I'm really excited about that I want to show. I like this haul also. This is another Sunday upload. I'm uploading every Sunday for the rest of the year and I think that subconsciously contributed to why I'm in a bathrobe right now. I definitely did think about it before the video. I was like, is this a good idea? Probably not. But like, is it that big of a deal? Probably not. Um, also, this video is sponsored by Shop Tiger, which I've worked with them before. And they're a Chrome extension that notifies you when clothes are discounted. Um, if you haven't downloaded it already, go to shoptiger.com, install it on your Chrome, and when you're online shopping and you have taste that's a little bit too expensive than what you can afford, which is me so often. I'm like on totakayo.com and I'm like, oh my god, these $500 shoes are so amazing, but I'm not about to spend $500 on shoes. You can click Shop Tiger and I'll pick like, notify me when it's 50% off. Especially with Black Friday coming up and Cyber Monday, if you have all of your items that you're interested in booked, then you'll just get all the notifications on things that are discounted and it'll be way more helpful than trying to sort out all the deals. Also, um, my contact there and I were talking ahead of time and she's like, what brands are you including in your haul? And I was like, Dolls Kill, Uniqlo. So she gave me a discount code for Dolls Kill and for Uniqlo if you guys are interested. So I'll put those in the description box as well as the download link for Shop Tiger. And without further ado, I'm going to get started. I feel like I kind of look like a ballerina right now, no? Like a little bit, right? It's the pink and the bun for sure. Okay, I want to start off with this PR package because it's so cute. I've seen a ton of ads on Instagram for Billy, the razors, and this is what arrived. Evan! What? What is the thing that you keep fishing supplies in? Back -a -box. <laughs> Thank you. It looks like... <laughs> Shut up! This looks like a tackle box and I thought it was so cute. So it's like this super retro 80s looking tackle box slash um, vanity and you open it up and inside there's a pack of Billy razors and over here there's a mirror. Okay. They have jelly bands and butterfly clips and warheads and ring pop and pixie sticks and a little mini hairbrush and stickers and tattoos and oh my god stick on stones for face nails ears okay i'm gonna stick it on my face look at the little stickers they put on the mirror too it's so cute right oh cute so this is billy's pr package to advertise their new dream pop razor color and Billy's a razor delivery company. Their whole spiel is like razors for half the price, like good razors for half the price. I would assume that it would come in a box like this. So the razor looks like this. And I'm sure it's called Dream Pop because of these sort of like dreamy 80s colors. It's kind of like a mix between little kiddish and very modern and millennial. And then it comes with the holder that you stick on your shower and it magnetizes so you would attach this to your shower and then boom I also feel like Billy might be like a female company as well which always down to support another female company that's kind of up and coming in New York I'm not sure if there's any locations elsewhere but it's called bulletin also I went on the website and they actually have this entire thing for sale so if you're interested in getting that go check it out you can get the whole thing and we can match I literally cut myself oh no now I have three beauty products to show you. I'm very pleased with this because they're all drugstore and I typically shop at Sephora for my beauty products, but I was in Virginia and we don't have a mall anywhere near us. Went to Target, good old handy Target, and I got myself a tanning lotion and a face tanning lotion. And I also picked up a mascara, which is huge news, which I'll talk about in a second. They're both by Jergens, the Jergens Natural Glow line, and this is the Wet Skin Moisturizer. I'll focus it for you. And this is for medium to tan skin tones. I use the light to medium as well because that's what my grandma had. That's kind of what pushed me into buying it. I would have never picked out the wet skin moisturizer. I thought that whole thing was such a stupid concept when it came out. I am here with a completely changed opinion. Beautiful discovery. Because I take showers at night and I get out and I feel like by the time I'm dry, I just am already dressed and don't feel like putting on moisturizer. But when you're just like getting out of the shower and I'm still damp, 
I put this on and it doesn't matter because it works on wet skin. By the time I'm done putting this on, my face is usually dry. So I will put on the Jergens Natural Glow Face Daily Moisturizer. And this has sunscreen in it, so it would ideally be better to use during the day. I use these at night. You do have a little bit of a smell on your skin. It's not the same as Saint Tropez, which was my favorite self tanner of all time, but it just made you smell so bad and it would give me like back knee trying to find something else. And I think this is what I'm pleased with right now. Next, I have myself a mascara. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And if you've been following me for, I feel like any amount of time in the realm of my beauty videos, I 100% of the time use the Benefits Their Real Mascara. That is the only mascara I use because it makes my lashes look amazing. Every single time, they look incredible. I always get compliments. It's the, mas the best mascara for my lashes. However, it's incredibly difficult to get off and I'm just tugging at my eyes every single night and it's such a chore. Then, one of my good friends came over and she has amazing lashes as well. It occurred to me to ask her what she uses, so I picked one up for myself and I feel like it gives very comparable look to their reel. I think this was somewhere between $8 and $12 and I feel like their reel is somewhere between $20 and $30. This is a better option and this comes off basically with water. It's a beautiful thing. Gonna give a little close up. L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I think I'm gonna make a mascara video. I'm very picky about mascaras and I think it'd be a good demonstration that I would be particularly good at explaining, which is not something I feel very often about beauty videos. Now on to clothes. The first stuff is Doll's Kill. I'm gonna show it because it's the most fun. First things first, everything is bright colors, FYI. Everything is funky patterns. Everything is like a little bit girly, a little bit slutty, and a little bit edgy, I would say. That would be like the three words that I would use for Doll's Kill. Fun, provocative, edgy clothes if you've never shopped online. First things first is this dress and it's from the brand Sugar Thrills. And it's pink and it's silky and it has a boa at the bottom and it's super short, so short. I wore it two nights ago with black tights and, so I cut, and a coat, so I got away with it. But if you did not have tights underneath, you could not wear this without your ass hanging out. Absolutely not. Love this color pink. It looks kind of like a Halloween costume. I feel like this is a very costumey piece. It also kind of looks like a nightgown, a cute little piece of lingerie. Very pleased with that. And then speaking of costumes, I actually got a Halloween costume on Dolls Kill because they do have those. So if you're interested, I know Halloween's over. You'll know this for next time. It's a nice change from those super generic costume stores that create very ill-fitting clothes. These fit a little bit better and they're of similar price range. I got a Fembot costume. If you guys have seen Austin Powers, and I literally felt like this dress and this dress, like me and my friend could be Fembots. I couldn't wear this because it was way too cold for Halloween and there's no way in heck that I would be going out wearing this. I would be freezing. So it comes with the top that has the big furry chest and it's super short. Once again, it has boa on the bottom and this is all see-through cheesecloth style fabric. And then it comes with matching underwear. I don't know, this gives me like cheerleader vibes. It comes with the armbands as well as two little hair ties that are the light lavender color. So if you were looking for something kind of sexy for Halloween, but still fun with the bright color and not like black and lacy, it's kind of a fun little option. And um, wish I could have worn it. Can't control mother nature. Should I show pants or should I show a shirt? Let's show pants, cause why not? So this is the brand Poster Girl. And these are snakeskin glitter sequin pants. Absurd. Look how they reflect in the light. They're bell bottoms. They flare out way past. They're long. You can wear them with heels. They're stretchy. I got this in a size large. Yeah, I got everything in a large and I wear, mm, I wear a size 8 in dresses and I wear a 30 in pants. So that will give you a reference. These are so fun. I cannot wait to wear these to a dance party, especially now that it's getting colder and I can wear pants. These are gonna be so fun. Other thing that I think is fun for experimenting, this mesh checkered shirt. And we've seen checkered on Instagram for so long now, so it's a little basic at this point, but I don't know. I didn't own anything checkered, so I didn't really care. I just wanted to get it because it's fun to wear on its own. I wore it out last night just with a bra underneath and tucked it into some trousers. I don't think I showed this part in the try-on haul, but it has thumb holes and that is 
such a fun accessory. I think anyone gets excited when a shirt they own has thumb holes. I don't know why. So you can wear this on your own, but if you want to be a little bit more conservative, it's also a good undershirt. You can easily put some sort of graphic tee over top, something... I only had sort of a dark gray black shirt that I put on over top, which I'll show next. I may as well. But I think a really, really jet black shirt would look fantastic over this. Or maybe something yellow or a neon bright color. Don't knock it till you try it. Then I may as well show the shirt I got. This isn't from Dolls Kill. This is from Thrills, which is a Australian site. I think they're from Byron Bay. I'm not entirely sure. But this is a graphic tee. And I'll link their store below. And it says Thrills. And it has this giant snake on it. King Cobra. It's coming out at you. So I thought this was fun to layer over top of things, but also I really like layering t-shirts over top of hoodies. I'm into it. Very boyish, very tomboyish. I feel like my taste right now is going towards hyper feminine or tomboy. Dolls Kill kind of would go with Hot Topic a little bit, I would say. I think they have a lot of overlap, but this shirt does not fit the vibe. And it is from the brand Sansuchi, and it's this rainbow off the shoulder top. I think it's really cute, I think it's feminine, I think it's kind of springy, so I'm not really sure why it's on the website now. It's really girly, it's flattering, it emphasizes the chest and like your decollete. I also think that rainbow's really in. If you want to try out something, this could be a fun little shirt. I like it a lot. Emily is FaceTiming. Hi. <gasps> Hey, you two. Are you ever coming back? <laughs> no. <laughs> then, green is my favorite color of the moment. It started with the neon lemon lime green, but it's really transferred into olive and forest green and <laughs> true green. I don't know. I really like green. I got this lime neon highlighter green unitard. Leotard. It has the straight across chest and the super, super skinny spaghetti straps. And I just think this color looks so good. And this is, like I said, I'm really into bringing these sort of bright summery colors into the fall and winter because it's a bit untraditional and I don't know why that's what I'm into. But I love this and especially with this fall time where you still might have like a little bit of your summer tan or if you're using tanning lotion, whatever. This looks really good. And if you're already a darker skin person, I'm sure this is going to look extra fly on you. So 10 out of 10, rem recommend this. Ooh, now onto pants. I didn't own pants, don't ask me how, that passed my ankles. So H&M has a conscious line and there's an H&M right by my class that they had really, really affordable pants. I got a pair of bell-bottom flare jeans, maybe bell-bottom is a little bit extreme, flare jeans, which I have not worn flare jeans since I was in elementary school, genuinely. Um, and these were like $18. These are my bargain jeans and I'm so pleased with them. I don't know why I've always had it in my head that I really need to splurge on jeans because jeans are a classic item but my two favorite pairs are very affordable. I'll definitely link these down below because I'm sure if anyone's looking for some extra pants to stock up on for the cold weather these are a good option and if you're just in the store you can try them on. Then I got a pair of black pants that are also flare. They're more office-y pants. They're more professional, very corporate. I could put this with a blouse if I wanted to go to a work meeting, but I could also put a hoodie and a t-shirt over top and wear these with some sneakers. So I just think having long black pants were an essential in my wardrobe, and I don't know why it took me so long to get them. They're stretchy. They have a seam right down the leg, so they're kind of, uh, what's it, slimming? Bargain deals that I don't know why I'm spending so much money on other things when I can find some things that are just as good for half the price. And a real learning experience then sometimes you get something expensive you know you put it on and it just feels so good and there's nothing like it you're like wow this is worth every penny it's such a gamble because some things are way overpriced and some things are completely valued at the price and they just happen to be higher that's a good nice way to bring up shop tiger again i didn't need to bring them up again um in the video but i use them and it's just because i have expensive taste and Sometimes I really want something, but I know it's not smart to spend that kind of money. I foresee myself doing some more shopping. There's just some more things I need to pick up. So I foresee another haul in the future if you like my try on hauls. Also, I have so much vlog footage. So if you guys like vlogs, that is something. I also filmed a skincare video. I have a lot of videos that are filmed. I just need to edit them. I'm a little bit slow at editing. So we'll just see. You'll see it every Sunday. I love this Sunday video concept. Very pleased with it. Hope you guys tune in next week for another video. If you're interested in catching up with me in the meantime, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. But if not, 
See you next week, guys. Love you. Bye.